What's going on YouTube? Today we'll be installing the Racing Line front adjustable sway bar end links. Gotta clean her up a little bit. All right, we're gonna start by removing this top nut up here. It is a 18 millimeter. There's one, and then you get the one down here. This might not fit, and it doesn't, of course. Go with the little one. It's also 18. Here is the stock one, excuse my face, and here is the racing line one. All right, so what I ended up doing is you just lay them down next to each other, line them up the best you can. There is two different sizes these are the 250 millimeter length ones, and then I believe there's a 200 one. So I just have the racing line coils, springs, and I went with these. Um, so this is what I did. Line it up the best you can. Also made sure the emblem is sticking out. The new nuts are a 17 millimeter versus the old ones, which are an 18. Um, and then the nuts on here seem to be a 19. So, okay, I just screwed that up, but just put them on there hand tight for now. And we'll see how it fits. Right, so now we have this. Good to me just like that and you even got the little emblem sticking out which is perfect thread these on I can't see what I'm doing what is going on you are going to need a six millimeter Allen to hold the center here. So you're able to turn the nut. All right, so it's going that way. So I'm gonna put it down here and behind this so it holds it as I turn it. So what I ended up doing is I installed it. I gave this two turns to shorten it. I used the logo as like two full turns. Um, I just added some masking tape there so I don't mar up the iodized black. This is an 18 millimeter and then the nut is a 19. So we're going to wrong way, of course. Going to take 
Getting this on there. There we go. It's a little tight with that masking tape. Something doesn't want to go on there. All right. That's good enough. There we go.